Hi, Shalom. This is the article I was telling you about with uh, TB, tuberculosis, marijuana, and conspiracy. So we just looked up TB conspiracy here on the Google. And you can see this article from February 5th, uh, 2005, tuberculosis, marijuana, and conspiracy. The World Health um, Organization has release a report by Dr. Christopher Dye finding that tuberculosis. So let's pull up this, pull up the article right here. Here's the article from this uh, blog, uh, Myet. You can see it right here, Myet. Uh, tuberculosis, marijuana, and conspiracy. It's, um, it's pretty, it's, 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 it's very interesting, first of all. Um, let's Let's try to uh, touch on a little bit of the article while we have a chance right here. Okay, the World Health Organization has released a report by Dr. Christopher Dye finding that tuberculosis is on the rise worldwide. Figures show that almost 9 million people contact the, contract the disease yearly and 2 million people, of which more than half, are from the Asia-Pacific region will die of the disease. Tuberculosis is a transmissible disease contracted through contact with airborne bacteria expelled when a person with active pulmonary disease coughs. The symptoms of active pulmonary tuberculosis is a persistent cough, loss of appetite, weight loss, night fevers, and profuse sweating. Patients who are HIV positive, the elderly and young children are particularly susceptible to the disease due to a lowered immune system. Right now, going a little bit a little bit further in this article, let's let's scroll this down right here. Um, we find that it says. Um, there are major problems at this time worldwide in the diagnosis and testing for the disease. The current testing procedures are outdated and do not always show accurate results. Two types of testing are currently um, standard worldwide, the, 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 what they call the spitum testing, um, which... Uh, which, uh, what's it, which fails on young children who cannot cough up enough sputum for accurate sample testing and um, what they call Mantalk, Mantalk testing, which does not show if a patient is active with disease as it only shows whether a person has been exposed to a person with active disease. Right now, how does all this connect with marijuana? Well, that, that, that's some of the background on this, right? Some of the medical background on it. But we're going to scroll a little bit forward, though. Uh, we, we would suggest to anyone to get the article and really study, you know, study it in more detail for yourself, because there's there's some interesting things in there that that you might, you know, be able to work with, or you know, might have heard about, and maybe you will have some more to say about that. Now, um, they're talking about tuberculosis and, and HIV and, and South Asia, you know, the whole bird flu thing. Now, right here, this was the, the part that was of, of some very interesting um, interest because it says, the thought of marijuana smoking is brought, is, is brought into question, right? Um, up to the 1930s before the banning of marijuana, it was used as a common cure for the disease. Now, this this line right here. Let's let's do this right here. This is this line right here. Very interesting line indeed. It says it says the thought of marijuana smoking is is brought into into question because it was up until the 1930s. You see right there before the banning of marijuana that it was used as a common cure for the disease, for um, tuberculosis. Nowadays, marijuana smokers who share smoking utensils like bongs are more likely to spread the disease a lot more easily than health officials are admitting. 
So this is why we want to put this information out there, you know, um, right, that nowadays marijuana smokers who share smoking utensils like bongs are more likely to spread the disease, you understand, are likely to spread the disease um, a lot more easily than health officials are admitting. Many marijuana smokers tested for tuberculosis through sputum testing and chest x-rays show negative results. So those who are now tested, they show negative results, many marijuana smokers, and they say that this is what, due to marijuana keeping, right, is due to marijuana keeping the pulmonary disease in check but not removing it from the bloodstream. Therefore, once again, making testing for the disease much more difficult with antiquated testing procedures used. Now it says down here that figures, let's bring this up. It says down here that figures are not readily available, right, are not av readily available on the marijuana tuber tuberculosis uh, relationship as testing with marijuana is under worldwide ban. Testing with, you see this right here, that testing with marijuana is under a worldwide ban at this present point in time, and officials will not publicly speak out on the relationship of the two. I've been seeing a lot of these doctors, TV doctors, others out there, you know, that whenever the issue of marijuana comes up, it's almost like about, you know, health or whatnot. They, 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 they want to say something because they're into medicine, you know. They've gotten into medicine to so-called do no harm, but because of all the economic pressures, they can't say anything. So I want you all just to note this, right? Now, we, this paragraph right here is probably a very interesting. It's one of the more interesting paragraphs right here because it's telling you that the thought of, the thought of smoking uh, marijuana smoking came into question up to 1930 before the banning of marijuana. It was used as a common cure for the disease, as a common cure for many others. But notice where this will leave the, 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 the Leviathan, big business, chemical, um, drug, uh, pharma, big pharma. Where would big pharma be? Big pharma doesn't like this because, you know, they, it's hard for them to make a product out of it because it in itself is an enigma. Marijuana in itself is an enigma, you know, with the right um, knowledge and use and application. It has many beneficial usages, and yet it's so free. It's not something that's easy to be a commodity for those who have investment in Babylon. It's really the antithesis on, on one level to Babylon and to the system of things, the chemical companies and, and others, you know, um, you know, making products out of it because it in its own natural state is a better, is a, is a better product. You know, there's even another clip with Dr. Oz. I don't know if any of you are out there who are on this particular issue about marijuana and uh, research and check out a Dr. Oz episode where he had Montel Williams. Montel Williams showed up on Dr. Oz's show where they were debating the same issue, and Montel Williams was, was defending the smoking of it as being more beneficial for some types of disease or some types of yeah, illnesses, such as what I think what he has or what he has been suffering, so forth and so on. That was very interesting because how it gets heated, how the, the, the system or the people who speak for like the the scientific uh, companies and the federal drug companies and the other rulers of the Arkans, the ones Babylon, we can say generally speaking, how they try to dance around the truth and, 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 and will, will admit the truth but under great duress. It's almost like they will admit the, the, the truth but like an illegal thing. They'll put a little disclaimer, it was under great duress. But now... Let's just sum up right here as we're coming to the end of this article right here. It says, there are two types of tuberculosis plus a number of smaller bacteria of the same family, including Myco, Mycobacterium um, marinarum, marinarum, often found in fishermen, uh, contracted through cuts in the hands from fish infected with the bacteria. 
the two types of pulmonary and extrapulmonary tuberculosis can be fatal if left untreated. Pulmonary tuberculosis is the more common of the two, but recent studies have found that five patients, five percent, excuse me, of patients with tuberculosis do not have pulmonary activity, which can leave the disease undiagnosed. Extra pulmonary, pulmonary tuberculosis can be found in almost any organ of the body, including the liver, skin, lymph nodes, and brains. Common symptoms of extrapulmonary are similar to pulmonary tuberculosis without the persistent cough, and often patients are found to have um, uh, ceased, uh, what, 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 casating, um, necrotizing, gran, granulotomous growths in lymph nodes or organs, right? Um, now, here's, here's, here's the footnote. Now, that, that whole article basically was general. The, the highlight there about the 1930s we think was a little bit more um, significant. But now notice this down here, if you will, this, this, this part right here, right? This part right here where it says the setting, right? Right, some studies here, the setting, they say, um, new cases of pulmonary tuberculosis, TB, were noted in a cluster of, get the language here, young Caucasian males, young white males, right, young Caucasian males. An unusual ethnic group for this disease in Queensland, Australia, an unusual ethnic group. It was noted that marijuana water pipe bong smoking was common among cases and contacts. So you'll notice something that happens also too, that the whole medical industry basically as it stands today in this Gentile world dominion or system of things is basically concerned about them and them only, about white folks. You understand? Because now this whole hype about it is basically about marijuana and, 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 and marijuana smoking in particular has to do with them preserving their, their themselves, even if it's beneficial for other people but harmful for them, they will ban it for everybody. This is what we're basically saying. So we now notice that this is probably, this is really the root of why or one of the main things that they are after or they are trying to protect or figure out, that there are new cases of pulmonary tuberculosis that were noted in a cluster.